Technology. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a new DIY on this top I'm wearing right now or basically a tube top inspired from the Free People Embroidered Gingham Tube. That is such a long name but it's retail for three digits $128 and that is just crazy. I was watching a lot of haul videos from lots of YouTubers and they did pick up this one and it was just like I need to have that. When I saw it online of the retail price, I was like, nope. I went to my local thrift store and picked up an oversized red gingham top. The gingham trend has literally skyrocketed this whole summer season, and why not just make a couple more DIYs featuring the gingham trend? Without further ado, hope you guys enjoy this, and let's just get started. Materials include sewing machine, needle and thread, seam ripper, trim details, chalk, paint, glue, cardboard, scissors, and pins. So here is the button-up shirt. I'm going to actually seam rip the pockets right off. Then I'm going to cut horizontally all the way to the sleeves. And halfway down, leaving room for a neckline band for the chest area. And I'm just going to quickly shave off the excess fabric for the front piece. And here is the back piece. We'll adjust the edge later. I'm just going to curve the edges of the back piece, aligning it with the front. I'll be hemming the edge later. I just shaved down the back piece to make it look like a skirt silhouette. And then I'll be repeating that with the front piece. I added extra room for error if it didn't fit, but I'll cut that off later. Then I grabbed this extra fabric for the front second layer effect, then grabbed another piece of fabric for the back second layer effect, went ahead and cut by curving it down. So now I'm just going to hem the raw edges, and once that's pinned, secure the stitches with a sewing machine. Both pieces will be cut skinnier, so I marked with chalk how much they are going to be, sandwiching them and then cutting them down. So these two will make that ruffle illusion of looking like two layers of fabric. So now that I'm going to be actually cutting the back piece in half because of the slit effect, then hem the inner sides, then it's time to pin the actual back piece. It is right side up so I am pinning it from the back. I don't know why I just didn't flip it, just repeat it to the other side as well as the front piece. It's going to look like this in the front and once that's done just sew along the edges where you pinned now I'm just going to pin the sides of the shirt leaving room for the band neckline right over here now that's pinned sew the two pieces together along the sides making sure to leave room for that edge And now that that's sewed, just trim down the excess fabric and then flipping it right side up, this is what it's going to look like. Now I'm going to seam rip the button divider and then cut that right in half just so that it could be separate like this. Then just hemming the raw edges at the sides. Then once that's done, I'll be rolling up the band. You're more than welcome to add elastic through this band, but I just didn't have extra elastic on me, so I left it blank. Then just sewing it all the way through. Time for the trim edge. Instead of tassels, I found this pom-pom trim at the dollar section in Target. I'm just going to be pinning that all the way through at the second layer edge. And you have the option of making your own red tassels, just like the Free People top. But I just went to the easier route with sewing the pom-pom trim, cut off the extra trim, and then time to make the straps. Here I'm cutting the extra fabric, making two pieces, refolding it so that I could sew on the outside, and then cut off the excess fabric. Once that's done, simply turn it inside out until you reach the end. Then repeat it to the other one. Off camera, I made a skinny strap for the left shoulder. I'll be attaching these straps with a simple straight stitch, one for the back and one for the front. Make sure to mark with chalk wherever it is comfortable on you. 
Now it's time to create the trim design. I got this intricate lace trim from a fabric store and I cut out a diamond and X shape from this lace. But you can use foam paper or felt paper to make these little templates. I originally used elastic for the triangle edge but I changed that along the process and used cardboard instead. And then what I'm going to do is just glue the designs to the cardboard templates. We're basically making stamps rather than fancy embroidery. You can use acrylic paint or fabric paint. I just had acrylic paint lying around. And then I'm just going to apply it with a brush and then sampling it on a scrap fabric just to see if it looks alright. I did press for quite a while and kept sampling for both designs. I'm basically applying the red paint on my new triangle stamp with cardboard and now I'm just going to apply it to the actual clothing piece. This is so much easier and faster than stitching hours of embroidery. I did mess up on the bottom trim of the bigger design but I'll be showing you guys how I cleaned that up or I covered that mistake with the ruffle effect. So the last step is making that ruffle second layer effect. Right now it looks super flat. Basically what you want to do is fold the first layer over the second layer just to make that ruffle effect and what you want to do is stitch with a needle and thread as close as possible to the edge of the second layer fabric basically making an invisible back stitch where you won't see it in the front and what you want to do is stitch at least two to three times to make it secure the more the stitches you make the more it looks like it's a second layer ruffle effect and once that's done, you're finished with your DIY gig hem tube. This DIY did take quite a long time because I was just winging it while filming. I usually take notes and steps on my notebook or my whiteboard. But I just wanted to wing it and see what I came up with and I am in love with the end result. It basically looks exactly like the original Free People top but it doesn't have embroidery, it doesn't have two layers, and it doesn't have tassels. So I did three like little cheat sheets, the cutest thing. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment down below, and see you next video. Bye!